Welcome to Isla Roatan. It's an island over in Honduras. So Isla Roatan is one of the largest islands in all of Honduras. It also used to be home to over 5,000 pirates. So you could imagine there was plenty of booty over there. And also this area here is home to the second largest coral reef, the Mesoamerican Reef. Now today we're going to do some exploring and I'm going to show you around the island and we're going to also hang out some crew here on board the Carnival Celebration. Uh oh, well, that's not good. Whatever's going on, I hope they're okay. Today we are disembarking. The gangway is located here on deck three. I'm just so excited. This place looks absolutely amazing. It's my first time here. And we are officially off. Oh, hey, how y'all doing? Hey. <laughs> Here's the game plan for today. Well, at least part of it, because I'll be winging most of it. I have some friends of mine that are currently crew here on board the beautiful Carnival Celebration. They've disembarked, and, well, they went to the crew beach. So I'm going to go over there, hang out with them for a little bit. And then, of course, we'll explore the rest of the island. You all over! You've been what? You've been looking for me? Hey, how are you? Are you feeling right now? I am. You're, no, 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 it's okay. You're the star now. Look at look. Hello to all my friends, Addie and Terry, A.K. Adventures, Rich and Jazzy. I was, I'm hey, I was, I was with them yesterday. Over I'm with your boy right now, Jay from the Ship Life. I got a song from it's Jay from the Ship Life. It's your girl Cheryl from J. Jojo Travel and Tours. I hope you all have a very happy holiday. Merry Christmas. Love you guys. I, I, look, guys, I just can't get over the fact that she just sang a song yes, for me. Yes, yes. It's Jay from the Ship Life. I want to be like you when I grow up. I, I wish I could sing, but I, but I can't. We are in port with the Carnival Pride. Now, if, I'm, if I heard correctly, I was just in the Carnival Paradise out of my hometown, Tampa. First time sailing on a ship out of my own city. But I believe the Carnival Pride is now docked over there. So if that's the case, whenever I get back, maybe not this year because i got a lot of cruises left, but I'm probably going to jump on this ship next year. We've officially made it. Mahogany Bay. Okay, so it is called Mahogany Bay. I was confused. Some, I thought it was Isle Royale 10. I guess all of this is called the Bay Islands, something like that. But... And now we know for sure, Mahogany Bay. Let's see where we're going. So we got shopping and taxi tours this way. We have the chairlift and beach that way. I need to go to the beach, so I guess this is the way. Before we leave out of here, I do want to show you guys the other side of things before we head over to the beach. They do have the, the craft market here. There's a bunch of shops and souvenirs and all kinds of goodies. Over here you have, what is that? Is that PC's Globo? I don't even know what that means. I'm guessing it's some type of shop with some type of materials and, and, and goods. And over there, you also have a Harley Davidson shop. You have a medicine shop, a pharmacy over there, and there's a bar. Cool area. So over in this plaza area where they have this giant festive Christmas tree, it's December now, with that in mind, they have all these decorative pieces. We do have the taxis out here, and this is also, I don't know if you guys can see over there, the entrance for the Extreme Zipline Adventure. You said I missed something on the beach. Yes. You know, the couple that was behind us had left, and this other guy had sat down there, you uh -huh. know. And then, the, you know, the attendant comes around, mm -hmm. he's like, you know, you can't do that, you know. You got to pay for the, the cabana. Yeah. And the guy's like, well, they just left. They paid for it today. What's the big deal? <laughs> he started getting irate, and the dude was trying to be calm. And he's like, well, you know, let me make a call and see if we could do it. He made a call, and, mm -hmm. you know, it's all about the tourism. And yeah, like, yeah, of no, course. No, you can't help him out, you know. And the dude's like, well, I'm sitting here now. The guy took the cabana down, walked away with it, left him out in the sun. <laughs> I was like, really? I mean, I almost felt like giving the guy 20 bucks, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, but look, it, it's, cruise, it's business at the end of the day. It's just business, man. Yeah, yeah. It you is know, what it people is. People get a little too much in them, and yeah. the yeah. way it goes. It happens. That was an interesting conundrum. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comment section below. If somebody rents out a cabana or something like that or a hut and they leave early, but it's technically already paid for, do you think somebody should be able to come and just take up the rest of that time since it was technically paid for for the day? Let me know. All right, let's get moving. Oh, wait, I was gonna go this way, but my friend told me to try this out. It'll take you straight over to the beach area. Quick update. So this sky right here, this little chair thing that you take across the island, you pay for it right here. Now it's 15 bucks. However, with that $15, you get unlimited rides back and forth, to and fro, 
you can ride over to the beach. It goes to a couple of different destinations, or actually, I think it's just one little long path. But either way, it takes you across the island to a better part of the island. Just so you guys can see, they got a couple other activities here, and they also have the prices as well. So if you want a kayak, it's 30 bucks. You want a fun cat, whatever that is, looks pretty cool. If you want a uh, tent, anything of that nature, all of it's right here, as well as all the prices. Guys, first of all, check this out right here. What are you, a Loch Ness monster? What is this? The pond monster. The pond monster. Yep, yep. <laughs> You know, my little friend. Guys, look. And look. I'm Coley. Coley, look. She's a bigger YouTuber. One that I, look, I have dreams to be like her when I grow up, all right? Oh First God, of all. No! Look, I have it's... a dream to be like you, to live on a ship every day. But yeah, no, that's no. my dream. I find it is pretty cool. I'm yeah. not going to lie. <laughs> Guys, look. They're gonna, what, what are you going to do here? What is this? Oh, well, I'm going to take him on. Okay, well, here's the secret. Sure. I'm deserting him on the island forever. Because on my YouTube channel, uh -huh. he's been like annoying me and pranking me. So I'm getting rid of him. But he doesn't know that. He doesn't know that. So. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to put Coley's YouTube channel right up here. Make sure you go give her a subscribe because yes. this is cool. I want to be doing this kind of stuff with my girl Lauren down the road. <laughs> Amazing. We're going to follow the, the pond monster here. <laughs> How funny is this? Bye, pond monster. Alright, bye. See you later. Bye, guys. Backpack off, and we're just going to have a seat and go for a little sky ride. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm excellent. How are you doing today? Good. What's your name? My name is Sabi. I'm from India. India? Yeah. Where in India? It's southern part of India. It's called name called Kerala. Nimpokela? Kerala. Nimpokela. The name is Kerala, K E R A L A. Look at this. How cool is this view? <laughs> Guys, look at this view of the ship. Beautiful carnival celebration. And then, of course, we have the beach down there. So when I get there, I got to go find my people, the crew members. Well, we're almost there. It's like a pretty cool area so far. I like this. You guys ready? Yep, we're ready. We've made it back on land and it's absolutely beautiful over here. We got the ship and we have a giant stretch of beach, which I'm going to go hang out at in a minute. Now, I will say that when it comes to this ride, I was talking to a crew member that was sitting next to me, the guy from India. He said it's good to come this way on the, the gondola, the sky ride, whatever you would call this. But don't go back because it did take a while. There's a lot of stopping going. And he said it's more scenic on the way back around, even if you did pay the $15 or I think it was $20. Anyway, let's see what we're working with here. Like I said, this area looks pretty decent. You know, they got the lounge chairs and all the other festivities. They've got the area blocked off so we don't have to worry about jellyfish and sharks and stingrays and all that stuff. Cool area. Now, my friends, the crew members, they said we have to go all the way down to the end of the beach and, and then there's somewhere over in that vicinity. I just hope they're actually there. Okay, so we got a little bit of a conundrum. It says private cabanas. But I was told to go all the way down to the end of the beach. Do I just kind of like walk over? Oh, well, I guess at this point I'm just breaking the rules. These are the private cabanas. Oh, I wonder if somebody actually rents one of those out. But how much are they? So it just does kind of have a crew vibe. I think I've made it. I'm pretty sure this is the crew area, but I'm not 100% sure. I can't confirm there are crew members everywhere. Now I've got to find my friend Gabby. I don't know where she is. Guys, you got to check out this really cool person. Well mid-tier she's she's okay she's fair anyway this is gabby gabby how do you like your job i love my job i love the people <laughs> the smile i can't i can't with it gabby what do you do by the way so i'm bun squad i'm basically we host events we do everywhere Everything. that you everywhere that you see fun that is where you see us fun she says yeah. no, we're not fun squad all right, you know what? That's fair. That's yes, fair. Exactly. Guys, if you end up coming on the carnival celebration between now and June 14th, June 14th, make sure you look for Gabby. Don't do anything to get fired. You know, somebody comes to see you, I you're not never. here. Okay, good. Yeah, she, never do that. She, she's a good person. She does her job fairly well. Very well. Fairly well. That's I, why I'm here. I, I didn't say very well. I said fairly well. I like, said very because that's why I'm here. That's why I was chosen for the celebration. All right, that's fair. You know, I gotta admit, this has been pretty cool. I feel like a crew member again, kind of. As they say, once a crew, always a crew. Now, I do apologize, guys. There are some things amongst the crew, us crew members that, well, former crew member. You know what I mean. There are some things that are said behind closed doors that I can't reveal to the general public, but I'm having a good time out here. And I got to admit, this area here is pretty nice. Let's take a little walk to the edge of the boardwalk. This is pretty cool. Wow. Now, in case you guys are wondering where this is, so here is the carnival celebration over here. There's the beach, and then over here 
it's kind of like over in Cosmo, for example, we have no name bar. It's like supposed to be for crew, but it's usually a blend of primarily crew and guests. So you can come over here, guys, if you want to ever hang out with the crew whenever we are in this port. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to come back out this way. Rotan is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, especially for the beach perspective, too. To be by the beach right next to the ship like this, perfect for pictures and, well, a good time. A lot of people apparently go snorkeling over in this area. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's some people all the way out there snorkeling. Some people out that way snorkeling. You probably can't see because of the glare and the sunlight, but not a bad area. I should have did this today. There's always next time. And back we go to the beautiful, excuse me, I need to see, no. Can you get your big head out of the way? The beautiful carnival celebration. All right, so I'm getting the grand scenic route. There's apparently a nature trail. Just follow the turtles. Follow the, okay. Follow the turtles. Ow! I should have put my shoes on. I've been stabbed by like 50 rocks. I put my shoes on. Look at, I'm putting the shoe on the wrong foot. And that proves you're not a shoe. <laughs> there we go. Back to the trail. If you see anything moving in the leaves, don't touch it. Like what? A snake? Just so you guys know, so you can see how beautiful this is. Look at this beautiful puddle here. Amazing. This is worth the walk on the trail. At least we know we're going in the right direction. Watch your head, Judge. Be careful. Guys, look. No, I don't need to. I'm, I'm five, six and a half. Five, five, even. On a good day. Oh, I'm not Kevin Hart. Well, guys, we've made it out of the trail. We've survived. We did it. Thank you for telling me about the nature trail. That was cool. And we're back. Look at the beautiful carnival celebration. Now, I'll be honest, she has a beautiful aft, but not as beautiful as, like, your Wonder of the Seas or the other Royal Caribbean ships. They're, they have better aft. <laughs> we're freezing for some reason. Green light. Oh, okay. All right. We can move now. Hey. <laughs> Let's see what's going on up here. Mini golf. We got Bolt. I wonder if they're running the roller coaster right now. Oh, yeah. They are running the roller coaster. How you doing, man? You good? Chilling like a villain, bro. Another day, bro. Oh, the white party on deck number. Oh, the, the whole white party. Okay. Yes. Serenity. You gonna be out there? You, who's DJing, bro? Uh, I'm gonna be out there. Okay, all right. Say no there. more. I'll be there. By the way, I wanted to show you guys this. Look at what Carnival was so gracious enough to give me. Yeah, obviously, I started drinking that champagne. I don't know if I'm gonna finish the other one, but as you can see, they've given me a, a banquet. They keep bringing me stuff every day. Now, I don't eat that. I don't eat this either. I think it's like coconuts or something like that. Uh, and then chocolate covered strawberries and vanilla covered strawberries. And it says, uh, Jay, great to connect with you today on the Lido deck. This is from Lee, the cruise director. And amazing to see how much love the crowd had for you. Thanks for joining us again. By the way, they also gave me passes to Loft 19. That's like the adult only area, but the upper side of it and free Wi-Fi. I gotta tell you, there's nothing like that. That's legitimately the coolest thing I've ever had on a cruise ship. Carnival, you're winning my heart here. I'll tell you that. Thank you. I am starving. I think seafood might work. Look, it's movie time. What's that supposed to be? Scrooge? Seafood Shack. Look at this menu. Guys, I don't know. This place is starting to capture my heart. I've been here twice now. I'm gonna get a lobster roll, but fairly priced for some good seafood. How you doing? Can I get a, a lobster roll? Thank you. Thank you. So when you order the food, they give you this guy here. It's just a little timer and the alarm will go off whenever your food is ready. And typically if you order food from the seaside shack or whatever it's called, the seafood place, it'll be ready in about five minutes. Thank you. So here we have it guys, the lobster roll. It's a pretty decent size. I'm gonna say for the amount that you get, not bad overall for 15 bucks. Yeah, so it does look like pretty much everybody's at dinner right now. I will say this is the downside to sailing alone. As much fun as I have meeting people, when you're not with somebody and you go to a restaurant, it can be kind of awkward, it can be kind of lonely. So that's why I don't typically go to a lot of the dining options on board, unless I'm with my girlfriend, Lauren. So, hey, it is what it is. So for the next order of business, we do have the all white party, meaning everybody dresses in all white. Well, I do the best I can by putting on white clothing obviously but I'll be honest with you I'm just kind of 
50-50. I'm skeptical about this because when I went to the all-white party on the transatlantic, it wasn't the greatest. We'll see what happens this time. They better come through. By the way, the all-white party is on the Serenity deck. This is the adult-only area, which means no kids at this party. Go down there. Run. Go. Why Listen, would I do that? You better see the light of your life. Oh, we'll see you in a minute. Yes, you will. <laughs> So how's everybody doing? I'm doing fucking amazing. Hey, hey, hey. this is YouTube. We don't curse around here. Shit. Listen, now look, how... listen. I'm happy and grateful. That's it. Now, what you think about the club? Just a little Serenity thing night. The white, the, the white party. Be honest. I love the vibe. I love, I love that energy. He's a, he's a liar. Now, what you think about the white party? It was alright. Okay, what you think about the white party? Basura. That means trash, y'all. Just saying. <laughs> Seriously, all jokes aside, they got to do better with that white party because that was a, a carnival. I've been having a good time for the past, the transatlantic I did, and everything in between. But that needs some work. It was horrible. Well, I didn't expect to end the video this way, but unfortunately, somehow, a little bit of my last couple clips got deleted off my phone. Look, I will just say, when it comes to the white party, not the greatest event here. <laughs> the speakers upstairs are, they're not great. They're horrible. And I don't know why I decided to have, like, an event like that on the last port day. We have two sea days to end the cruise. It's very, very strange. The party ended early. People weren't happy. And the way it was just organized was not that great. They definitely had to step it up. Either way, I'm going to wrap this video up. Just know, of course, I appreciate you guys. I love all of you. I have more videos coming up. So I'll see you next time. Take it easy.